Hey guys, what's going on? This is always back with the next part of our Java Central Training series. So in this video, I'll be talking about strings and variables. So the string class represent character strings. All strings literals in Java, such as let's say ABC, are implemented as instance of this class. Strings are constants. Their value cannot be changed after they are created. Strings buffers support immutable strings because string objects are immutable and they can be shared. Alright guys, so let's have a look at the string, how to create a string. So first of all, we need to define a data type, which is going to be string with a capital S. So type string is equal to, now I'm going to make a variable. I'll talk about the variables in a moment, but let's look at it for now. Alright, so I'll type first name. I'll use the camel case. Camel case means the first character is going to be the lower character and the second word is going to have an uppercase letter is equal to and string always goes in a double quote so I'll type double quotes and I'll type my name always right and then I will add a semicolon so this is a basic string statement so this is a data type that's a variable name which contains this value so basically strings is a sequence of characters so let's say if you want to add a character so I'll type a data type char and I'll name it let's say f name is equal to you gotta add brackets here for the character so this is the way you define characters so I'll type with the braces on I'll have to type single quotes a single quotes comma single quote and braces and so there is basically no difference between um, this value so if I print out this F name it's going to give me same output as the first name let's have a look so let's say S O U T so that's basically a short form to write system dot L dot print line so I'll type first name and I will copy this code and paste it down and then I'll change the variable name to F name okay so let's run this program now Okay, so as you can see that the output is basically the same. So the the variable contains the data always in character data type and a string is a sequence of that character. So that's basically a string. All right, let's have a look at the methods we have in a string. First of all, let me go to the Java documentation. This is, a, um, this is official documentation from Oracle. So if you go to string class here, all right, if you click here as you can see that a part of the java.lang package so let's go down here okay so these are all the methods we have okay so I'm gonna show you how to um, check the length of the string right so let's go back to IntelliJ idea I'm going to get rid of this statement and I'll type let's say system dot out dot print ln and then I will type first name again and I will add a decimal point and I will type length right and let's output it to the console okay so you should have a waste in five so now basically that method is giving us the length of the variable contains this data so we have five characters one two three four five okay so let me check that if it that is equal to F name right so we're gonna go and change this let's say okay so I'm going to now equals and now I'll type F name right so basically what I'm doing is I'm asking this statement that first name which is this variable is equal to F name so this is a boolean data type right so it's gonna tell me if it's equal to F name or not so let's run this program now so should give me the always fault so this is basically that statement let me get rid of that right let's run the program again now it's false right so if you go to your Java, Java uh, documentation there should be a lot of um, the, uh, methods here so you need to know what method you want to use so this is how you can find out so let's see that's a boolean data type equals right that's what I used before so these are all the methods available here you can find out so let's try one more thing to uppercase right so if you want to convert your string to uppercase you can do that as well so let me change this to lowercase a 
and then what I do here, I'm just gonna get rid of this, okay, decimal point, and then two uppercase, okay. Now if you print out this statement, it's giving an error. Why? It's giving an error because there's another. Okay, now I should be fine. First name variable contains a waste in a lowercase, but this method basically converted that to the uppercase. So that's how you can use a methods with the strings. So literally this course, I'll talk about strings and methods more in details. All right guys, so let's talk about the variables now. Variable is the name of a memory location, and there are three types of variable, local, instance, and static. Let me give you a quick example. Let's say you have a water and a clothes, right? So you have two objects as well, a glass and a box. Would you put water in a box or would you put clothes in a glass? So the variable, whatever you're defining, needs to be defined by its data type. So the water goes in a glass and the clothes goes in a box. So same thing here, if you are defining a string variable, you need to define its data type, which is going to be string. If it's an integer value, you need to define that as an integer. So let's start a string variable. So I'm going to start with the string S with a capital S string. All right, so let's name it, let's say my name, right? I'm using a camel case here as well. So my name is equal to and string goes in a double quotation. So, so always Mirza. Okay. And then I will finish that statement with a semicolon. Now let's add another string variable. So type string and let's say my age is equal to is okay and then another variable i'm going to type that as an integer now okay so my age is is equal to so while defining an integer variable you don't need double quotation you just type let's say my age is 28 okay and then i'm going to print it out to the console right so I'll type s out and then i will use my name first and then i will concatenate with the plus operator and then my age and then plus and my age is okay and let's run the program Okay, it's basically, so waste Musa is 28, right? So you need to add a space here. Let's run it again. Okay, so we have three variables here. String variable, which is containing my name. String variable, which is containing this is. I could type that is here as well. And then integer variable, which contains 28. So defining a variable is pretty simple. All you have to do is define it by data type. So Boolean data type, character, byte, short, integer, long, float, and double. Let's uh, print it out again. System dot s out. So let's say my cross. Okay, so now it's going to print out that 28.666, right? So if I change that data type to integer, right, and my value is still 28.666, now it's going to give you an error because it's telling you that the value available here is basically a double value. So we need a double data type. Let's run this and let's see, as you can see that it's giving an error. So the variable basically needs a correct data type and a correct value format, right? So, all right guys, so that's about variables and strings. So thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next video. So don't forget to subscribe as well. Cheers.